Hello, my dear gardening friends. Today is the time to plant. I'm going to pair my beautiful blooms of uh, Olivia Austin Rose, which is going to be a star here, the best performer. This place will be given to her as the queen of the show. And she is, this is the first year of hers, so she's going to be bigger and wider. And there are two bushes here. And since her blooms are wonderful pink, I was trying to think hard what I can pair her with to make this area kind of more uh, full with plants. And the other day I went to the nursery and came up with some great ideas. So let's pair my Olivia Austin with some perennials today. So what do we have here? Here we have this very interesting plant. It's called Verbena bonariensis. It's a tall verbena. And the beauty of tall verbena is that it can create a wonderful airy presence in the garden. You see these wonderful long stems and they don't uh, fall under the pressure of wind. And they can create this wonderful tall structure in the garden. So. Since this flower, this flower, the color, pairs so well with the um, beautiful soft pink of Olivia Austin Rose, I raised these seeds in pots. Several more pots are on my back porch. And since Verbena bonariensis is uh, good, it is hardy to zone seven, uh, it's really borderline perennial survival in my area. So basically, because Berbina is only good to zone 7 and I'm borderline 6, 7 coastal Connecticut, I always treated it as annual in my garden. And this is uh, how Verbena grew in one year. So I suspect that next year it will be so much bigger and so much fuller. But the trick is to overwinter it in my garden. So this year I'm going to try to do it. So there are three perennial plants here. I'm going to plant them right here at the back. And hopefully this verbena will survive through the winter. I will mulch it very well once the cold weather comes. So this is project, uh, um, plant number one. Several plants of perennial verbena, hopefully, for the season. Now, plant number two. This wonderful agastache. And I love agastache for its uh, prolific blooms. It attracts tons of pollinators. Basically, bees love it. The minute I brought it from the nursery into my back porch, all the bees uh, flew to it and started looking for nectar. But the only thing, you know what I didn't know? This is Agastache Blue Fortune. And I didn't know that it's sterile variety. I thought it will happily reseed itself in my garden. I don't think so. So I should have bought several more, two more plants. They were on sale. Oh, well, I was thinking that I just need one and it will recede, but Agastache Blue Fortune doesn't. It's a sterile plant. So this nice lavender color with this color, with pink of my beautiful Olivia Austin Rose, I think will do the trick. There is another plant which I want to introduce here and which I didn't find. And I was thinking about it in spring. I should have bought it in spring. Ladies Mental. It has beautiful chartreuse color. And I like to brighten this area with that color. I bought one more plant. Give me a second and I will bring it and I will show it to you. Just look at this guy. Isn't it the most wonderful specimen of green life? Oh, I love it. It is called a uh, little giant, no, yeah, little giant abavite. And there are different types of abavites. And I truly love them in the garden because they're so such um, easy to pet plants. I always learn to ruffle their nice greeneries. And you know, you cannot really pet a rose, but you can pet your abavite. So the plan is, as you can see here, I find this corner to be somewhat ugly. So I was thinking, how do I hide it? And I came up with the idea that I can pair up this beautiful shape of uh, this abavite with the shape of my uh, hedge, which I have here. And that hedge is a privet hedge. And instead of just doing it in a straight line, I started cutting it in the cloud formation. So I think that this will repeat that shape and it will 
look good here. This area would be nicely designed here because here around my Olivia Austin Rose, all the perennials will be kind of wild looking, maybe a little bit of cottage gardeny feel here. But this guy will, first of all, it will close that corner. It will be basking on the sun since this construction is not going to uh, shade a lot of sun and abovitis do need a lot of sun at least six hours of sun and look at him he's a, such a lovely fellow he's going to be in mature size he can be quite big he can be four feet by four feet uh, he can be trimmed gently every year if I want to control his size but generally he's a very uh, pest free and happy plants to be in the garden so this is going to be his space right here what do you think I think I came up with a good idea now my I guess dash probably would be somewhere here and I will pay as this tall verbena I will put it somewhere at the back here I will put several more uh, of tall verbenas there so eventually they will create a nice tall presence there Oh my, this is quite an undertaking. Oh my gosh, I'm all dirty. But you know what? I was afraid that this guy will not get out. He did. I don't think he will even notice that he's replanted. Let me go around. Right, so that's done. You know what? Change of plans. My Verbena Bonariensis in pots in another pot is too heavy, that pot is too heavy for me to get out. So here in this back raised bed, the left one, we have two of them at the back, so the left one is devoted to all sorts of little baby seedlings which I'm raising. Right now I have little sedum. How many shrubs do I have here? One, two, three, three growing. So I will have another pot of sedum. But these guys, you see, tall verbenas, after our heavy rains, they suffered from mildew. Hmm, I have to save them from this kind of shady spot. So I'm going to dig several of them and plant them right there with my other verbena. Now I have to dig a nice big uh, chunk of land. And of course there is a stone. Okay, big, big verbena, I will put you here. So we have one. Let me see. Let me get the healthier ones. Because they are... Okay. Hey, actually I can bring it like this. Uh -uh. Stuck! Oh, come on. All right. I won't because I didn't dig the hole. It would have been a great idea to dig the hole first and then just drop this verbena. All right.
and somewhere here. Sounds like a good idea, right? Now, watering. Where is my watering can? Okay. Next one would be my big, my big giant, my big abovite, somewhere here. house was built it was an addition on this house they just got rid of this stuff under the soil I hate when construction people do that they just put everything under the soil level and let it be there big fellows there. All right, let's see how he goes. Okay, honestly his roots are entangled, so what we're going to do, we stretch them. Mm. Not much. Is it leveled? It has to be just teeny tiny above the... No, it's leveled. Good, now let's see how it looks. Which side? It's awkward looking. It was probably growing that way in the nursery. Here we go. This looks more of a round shape. Mm. A little bit off here. Let me see. Like this. Here we go. Yep, looking good. It's very important not to leave any air pockets between the, the plant roots and the soil so i always i always make sure that i attend to this issue very well now a good watering is a must You know what of course eventually when this guy will be becoming bigger and bigger all this area would be adjusted but I think I will plant her somewhere here for now I think so oh my gosh look at this look at this root system she's so stuck in this spot poor thing We will make sure that she's all out. Alright, that is done. Okay. 
So that's it. The project for today is done. You know what? I don't think my tall verbena even uh, is going to notice even that she was replanted here. The same with Agastache and with the same with my uh, Abavite. So this is it. The project is done. My rose continue blossoming. That's her probably last blossoms for the season. But it's okay. I'm still enjoying it. And you enjoy your roses and your flowers and your gardens as well. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. And I will see you next time. And this little guy has to be cut off here because he's growing too tall without any purpose. <laughs>